okay? So I'll bring my hand inside, pop the grip off, I start to isolate the arm. So most people are going to turn their thumb down and start trying to hide this. Obviously this isn't the best response here, uh, but my hand's going to go to the head, push their head, I'm going to throw my leg over, lock up a figure four. We're going to go for our omoplata from here, okay? So when you guys lock your figure four, a lot of people show it this way, I like to hook the back of the head personally. You need to control their posture with this move just like the arm bar, okay? My legs out here, this gives them the opportunity to stand up and start posturing and I'm going to lose my omoplata. If I can stop my foot on the back of his head, he's not going to be able to posture up, okay? So I keep this arm tucked in my pocket, reach over and get the belt from here. This is going to let me pull my elbow back and build a base from here. I can start to scoot my butt away and now I can start trying to rotate my legs around, hug his hip, and I can start to flatten him. I can finish from here, reaching over, connecting on the shoulder, lift up drive my hips. I do want him flat, so think about it like a circle on the center point. He's the outside of the circle. I can spin around quicker. So I'm gonna start scooting out, 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 until I can eventually flatten his hips out below. But like I said, it's not necessary. Reach up, block, and go forward. If your partner goes to do a forward roll, can you do it still? I can roll with him on the forward roll, okay? So just because your opponent doesn't roll doesn't mean that you have to let go of the omoplata. You can take side control position if you'd like to as well. Arms out, underhook, hip out, lock up high. You guys look, you don't have to stop here. Walk all the way up here if you want to, okay? Turns his thumb down, hides his arm. Just make a grip here. Make sure your fist is facing your partner's hip. You do not want them stepping over your head. If he if he hikes his hip up in the air, walks over my head, he's gonna pass my guard. Okay? Make a fist, drive it into his hip. So if he tries to step over you, I can stiff arm him. Work up. Okay? That's the that's really your only threat from there. Control the posture and stop him from stepping over. After that, drag him out. If you want a tighter on a plot to finish too, this leg close to you, second leg goes all the way back behind me. This will make my plot a lot tighter. When you finish this, I'm supposed to be hooking the arm, you're gonna pick yourself up on your toes and you're gonna drive your hips forward, okay? This is pretty much a Kimura, but I'm using my legs. Or a Kimura is a leg of plata, whatever you wanna call it. Whichever one came first. Boom. Arm. You guys can even rest with both feet on the back of the head if you'd like to. Lots of different options from here. You can hook his arm. Just try to avoid this if you can help it. Okay. He has that posture there. I really don't want him to posture to get out of my own plata. It's going to make things difficult. Stop on the back of the head. Control of the belt. Sit up. You can start scooting and pulling his shoulder out a little more. From here, make sure you reach over and hug his hips too, because he's still gonna try and roll here. If you can put all your weight onto his hips here, it will make things much more difficult for him at that point. Okay? Everybody got it? Pull and plot it? On three. One, two, three.